The difference between traditional project management and Scrum is kind of like the difference between when we used to print out 14 pages of MapQuest directions to go on a road trip. Gentlemen, question for you. How does Scrum differ from traditional project management? I know we often hear hybridizations and, and all this and water Scrum fall and you, you pick your favorite hybridization Scrum technique. Yep. Scrum or fall. Yeah, but how? let's talk about how they really differ, Scrum and traditional project management. What, what say you? Yeah, I, I always think of a story when I hear this question because I, I was working with a client and we had taken their people through a bunch of training and this person was out on vacation when all the training was happening and so she gets back from training and now we're more of in a, in a consulting mode and she gets to, to work and she's like, yeah, I missed all the training but I've got 30 years of project management experience. So just, you know, just tell me how the terms map, uh, you know, you call it a retrospective, we called it a postmortem. I'm sure it's the same thing. So let's you just tell me how the terms map and I'll be fine. And I was just like, I don't know where to begin because like she was missing a, a very fundamental difference. Um, I, I'm just going to pick one key difference. The difference, and this is an analogy I use all the time in class, the difference between traditional project management and Scrum is kind of like the difference between when we used to print out 14 pages of MapQuest directions to, to, to go on a road trip. Right, you're driving across the country and you're going to go on your 90s dial-up internet and wait for all the beeps and the boops to stop and then go on to mapquest.com and you know type in your destination and print out 14 direct pages of directions and hope that you can follow these. Or if you want to go even further back, like plan out your trip on an old school atlas you know, across the, across the country, right? And today, instead of doing that, we have a little empiricism machine on our dashboard called a GPS, usually built into our phones, and that's constantly inspecting and adapting and allow us, allowing us to change our course either because we have to, because there's a roadblock, there's a traffic jam, there's a, a road closure, or because we come across some opportunity that we didn't know existed, like the world's best Belgian waffle, and we want to take a detour and, and you know, have that tasty Belgian waffle, and then we can, you know, it'll reroute for us. So predictive versus adaptive. Traditional project management, you figure out time, scope, and budget, and as many tasks as you can up front. Scrum, you have a goal, you have an end of your road trip, but you find your path empirically and you, you your actual path is often very different and often much better than it would have been had you tried to predict all the unknowns up front. That's my attempt at biggest differences. I like that analogy. Yeah, no. That's a good analogy, but I want to waffle right now more than anything right? else. Right, same. So I'm going to go with real basic here, and I'm not going to fill in a lot of the guts that people say, yeah, but the powerhouse for Scrum is X, or the powerhouse for traditional project management is X, because you're going to have people on both sides say say these things. But the question is, what's different? Um, and traditional project management is going to plan up front what you know with time, scope, and budget pretty much locked in. If there is going to be flexibility, typically people are having to push time and money out. And if you talk to anybody who's been in project land, they they know it's like, yeah, the budget got blown and the timeline got blown because everybody wants all the scope. So that's, that's usually like the nature of project management. And uh, because it's planned all up front, they're looking at output. How fast can you get this done? The question that you usually hear um, in a output driven environment like project management is, is it done yet? When will it be done? That's the question that usually gets asked. So that's different than Scrum that looks at a uh, still time scope and budget is a thing. But what is flexible in this case is the scope, not the time and not the budget because every sprint is locked in with a time and a budget. So the, the flexibility is the scope. Jason just appealed to that with the uh, um, empirical model of, of finding your way. It's outcome driven. So the question isn't so much, is it done yet? The question now is, do the customers like it? So outcome driven has a different question that gets asked persistently after each sprint and uh, um, differentiates, it, differentiates from a traditional project management. So I'm gonna stop with that. Those are kind of two, two basic side-by-sides. I've got one more to throw in the mix here. Um, traditional project management, you've got one single individual who's on the hook for managing this project and making sure that it is done on time and successful and budget and all the scope is there. Uh, Scrum takes a different approach and it applies self-management. And so you have an entire Scrum team that manages the effort and the work and the time and the budget and the scope. And you gotta ask yourself, well, wait, why? That's a lot of people to manage a project. Um, well, hear me out. So if you give this team a goal and you say, look, guys, I need you to get to, I don't know, South Carolina by the end of tomorrow. 
and you let them figure it out. It's their problem. They have to get there. Let them find the most creative way that they can get there with the tools that they have at their disposal. Perhaps they have a motorcycle and a pickup truck, and they got to get six people down to South Carolina. I can't tell them how to do it. They can figure it out. Maybe two people ride the motorcycle, two people sit in the back of the pickup truck, two people are in the cab, and maybe they switch. So they're going to figure out their own way to get to South Carolina without me having to stress myself out about making sure that they got to Chick-fil-A by nine, making sure that they got to Walmart another hour later, and making sure they <laughs> swung by the Waffle House and got you know the, the, the hot waffles with the... I haven't been there in years. But you know, I, I, why would I concern myself with the details when it's their problem and they're the ones right. trying to get there? Right. And so Scrum leverages self-management, traditional project management leverages the management skills of a single individual, which can be slower and less accurate. So uh, that that's my thought on the differences. And now we need to break and go to South Carolina and stop for chicken and waffles on the way. Mm, let's do it. Hey, thanks for watching that video. Did you like what you heard? If so, you're gonna love our Scrum classes. See, not only do we talk about these ideas on YouTube, we're also professional Scrum trainers and we'd love to have you in one of our classes. So if you need to level up as a Scrum master or a product owner, maybe you need to learn how to scale Scrum or combine Kanban or UX with Scrum, click the link in our description and you'll find a list of our upcoming classes. If you like this video, just leave us a comment. If you got some positive feedback, we'd love to hear it. And if you've got some negative feedback, well, we'd love to hear that too.